Good morning. Uh, today is Sunday, April 22nd, 2012. I'm speaking with Mr. Pradeep Das of New York City. And uh, interview is, in, is being done in New York City. Um, Mr. Das, um, can you tell us what's your base? I am a Bangladeshi by born. By birth. And uh, now... Yes, of Asian, yeah. Indian ethnicity. Okay. And uh, what's... But, but then what's the village? When we call base, that's the country. What's the village, district, oh. subdivision? Well, I am from uh, the village of Udur. Udur. Under the Union Council of Pubail. Pubail. Of... Gazipur district. Gazipur district. Uh, that was formerly part of Dhaka. Dhaka. And Greater also Dhaka. previously used to be known as Joydepur too. Joydepur. So police station. Yeah, police station is Joydepur. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, so, um, how was your village like? Was it a village or big city or small town? It's it's a pretty decent village about. Uh, a population of about a thousand people. Thousand people. Very homogeneous. All of them were Hindu. All of them are Hindu. Yes, and uh, even now. No. No. That's probably fifty-fifty. Yeah. Fifty-fifty now. So when you grew up, used to be all Hindu village. Uh, up until nineteen ninety, I would say. Oh, even that. It's all hundred so, percent in those. So after ninety, there is so much change. Yes, so much. So change. much loss. Yes. Um. So, so um. Who else was living in with you, in your home? Uh, my parents, my uncles. Uncles. Actually, I had only one uncle. You okay. Know, so the uncle's family, and then, uh, basically in the village, you know, somehow. You feel everybody is related. Yeah. So, so yeah. it's like everywhere. Yeah. It's like distant yeah. cousins, distant uncles. Distant you know. uncles. So yeah, it's probably part so, of the whole family. Yeah, we are like you, all whole big family. The yes. Whole village extended family, family. Whole yeah. valley. All of them. Yeah. Now, now, what's the name of your father? Pierre Mohandas. And mother? Reno Baladas. Now, were they? What was their profession? My mother was a housewife. And my father was a businessman. He okay. It's a textile business, but we also had, uh, you know, plenty of land property. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you still have them? Uh, actually, in two thousand, no, nineteen ninety-eight, hmm. uh, my parents left. They went to India. Why? Because uh, since 1990 up to uh, the six, seven years, there was a lot of problem. Really? Know. What kind of problem? Uh, starting with, uh, you know, the incident in Babri Masjid mm -hmm. in India on mm -hmm. uh, 1992. 92, yeah. Uh, yeah. When I was here, mm -hmm. uh, the, a group of Muslim people mm -hmm. attacked, you know, those who we, who we knew before. Really? Yeah, Your friends, very known sir? to us. Oh. It's, it's kind of friends, and it's mostly those are like, you know, less. Uh, those are downtrodden Muslims. They okay. they used to work at our okay. farms. Okay. Work for us, or okay. you know, when they needed help, mm. we we help them. Okay. Those people just came they and even ran, then they came attacked ransacked you? our house, oh. ransacked our house, and uh, and also the uh, other villagers. Mm -hmm. So. The thing is that we had the ability to move, uh, you know, so we decided to move. Uh, who who decided? Your, your father, mother, or uncle? Yeah, my parents. Yeah. What about your uncle? Uh, my uncle, too. His, he, his family half in Bangladesh and half in India. They're, they're half in Bangladesh, yeah. half in India. But they're my both... my uncle was a chairman uh, of the union for 27 oh. years. Oh, my gosh. And he 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 was very uh, influential. Even then, your home was attacked. Uh, yes, yeah. That that's sad. What was your uncle's name? Uh, Shoshi Mohandas. Okay. So why in India did, did they come? Did they go to? They went to Raigons, uh, Raigons. North Dinaspur. North Dinaspur. But then, we 
dry, there was nothing we could do in Raigon, so my family moved to Kolkata. Oh, I see. You know, after a uh, couple of years. Where in, where in Kolkata? Uh, Mukundapur. Okay. And uh, what, what are they doing? Are they doing any... any? No. Yeah, so you're just supporting? Yeah, I'm supporting and my two brothers, they, the one just finished his MBA mm. from Bangalore mm. and another is uh, he's finishing MS, MHC this year but he all he joined the Ranbaxi pharmaceutical. Okay, okay. so there was no, no problem? But, uh, but, but I, you know, I had to support throughout. Yeah, you know, that's a lot of, lot of expense, a lot of support for yeah. a young man like you. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're struggling yourself, yeah. right? Um, coming back, so tell us about your, your, your home in the village. How was it? Was it a big building, small building? It's a, it's a wooden building, tile building? No, it's not a, uh, it was not a building, but uh, we had like, uh, you know, like my uncle and our, we have, say, about 50 acres. Yeah, but yeah. what about the... But the, the house you, was... Big. Say the house would be in in at least one one and a half acre, but mm -hmm. those are corrugated mud. Uh, okay. You know. Uh, but, uh, the tin roof. Tin yeah, roof? yeah. Tin roof and the side was made out yeah. of mud. Yeah. Um, how many generations your family lived there? You think? I I have never known there was another house another place. So many many generations. Yeah. And by a stroke of stroke of um, writing, you lo you, they became penniless. Uh, they moved to India. Yeah? yeah. Your uncle also moved there later, but half family is there. Yeah, he his two sons are in Bangladesh okay. and his two sons are in India. Oh. But then he, he doesn't have, uh, you know, he moved from this village to another place. He went to a city on, in the city. Okay. We, so, so in the Dhaka, he migrated to yeah, Dhaka? Yeah. And and but the, your property is not there. You no, sold no, it. No property is not there. So you sold it, or somebody took it over. Uh, we sold it, but then we didn't get the money in India because we sent it by Hundi. Oh, you know, we lost the money. We also lost the money and lost the land. Yeah. Oh, that's very sad. Yeah, it's. Uh, that's very sad. Um, <clears throat> now, uh, tell us when you grew up. You went to school in your local uh, local school. Yeah, I, I, we had a primary school in our village. So what I studied was the name? primary school, uh, Udur uh, Government Primary School. Okay. Then I went to, uh, on fifth grade, I went to a missionary school, okay. uh, like three, four miles away from San Nicolas High School. Okay. Then, then I studied in Notre Dame College. Notre Dame College. So that's. So, so. how when you grew up <clears throat> in your village or in the missionary school? or in the college was how was the life like for you was it very normal or very yeah we we never felt that uh, we were in a muslim majority country okay we, so, we because uh, at the time when i was growing up my 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 uncle was very uh, powerful. powerful very okay. powerful you know like we would you know like the the even the DC would come to our house mm -hmm. and we would call them uncles, mm -hmm. you know, the police mm -hmm. officers, they were like normal thing, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, things like that. If, mm -hmm. Even if there was a murder case happening, they would call, come to us before they go to police. Has this, do you think the situation has changed now? Oh, uh, I mean, I went to Bangladesh in 1994 and I, one guy who used to work with us, you know, like we used mm -hmm. to, as a kid, yeah. we used to tell them, do this, do yeah. that. For and you. he came to our house and he was telling my uncle, if you don't do this, hmm. I'm going to do it myself. And my oh. uncle was said, did you see what, how he's talking? Hmm. And I was like, yeah. he, this guy even five years before would not even talk to me like that. Yeah. And he's talking so it's to my sort uncle. of sort of insulting tone. In the, a, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, a demeanor. Um, now, uh, do you know? Uh, what happened in, in 1971? What happened to your family? What did they do? Did yeah, they, they came. The multiple times, they, the, my uncle was always a target. Mm. You know, the, uh, they said that... Target but, of killing yeah, or arrest? Or uh, being picked up. You know, they, I, I mean, they did not say they, what they wanted to do. That's what I heard that. Mm. They always came looking for him. Okay. Oh, they means the police or the thugs. Yeah. 
uh, or the terrorists. Always stay. Uh, so yeah. what was he? What was he doing? Was he hiding all the time? Oh, we all, we the whole family we were hiding. Where were you? Where did we you? We were. Uh, we went. To, you know, at the time that uh, we are, we are called Bawal area. Yeah. The Bawal, Bawal is kind of a very. Uh, a lot of trees, you know, like yeah. a jungle-like mm -hmm. place. Yeah, forest. So, uh, we we hide uh, we hid in a place called Bashania in in uh, and also in Gazipur. In Gazipur. How far from your? No, that, at that time that was in uh, in Dhaka. There was Dhaka. no Gazipur. No, Gazipur. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. In Dhaka, but now it's part of probably Narang part of Narang. Okay. But that area, you, you cannot uh, go there. It's mm. it's very remote, mm. Mm. and and still there. How, is, how many? How many? How long did they hide there? Until the uh, until, yeah, until the independence. Yeah. They didn't. They, they so they 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 never m migrated to India. They 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 didn't take shelter in India. We didn't take shelter in India, but uh, no, we uh, none of us went to India. So, so in this forest or in swamp yeah, yeah. how would and it was a christian uh, community yeah the, that, where we hit was a christian okay. community in the christian area and the christians were not target i know okay, uh, so so, so oh, but but they were always on in, in fear that something could happen yeah. to them the whole family what about the other people in the village do you know they also fled or did they um, some people stay Sh I mean, the story I heard, I, I heard that there is not, um, I mean, no man were in the village. Okay, they all, they all, yeah. they all fled. Um, um, how was the, when after the war, um, what did they tell you? How did they survive? Did they, when they come back home, they, they, they were able to find their home in, intact? Their home was, was, was saved? Or was it damaged? Or was it... Uh, a lot of most homes were okay, but most some, homes. you know, uh, the rich people, you know, the, their okay. homes were damaged. Uh, but what, in your village, were there a lot of affluent Hindus too? Were there Hindus? Were yeah, there was like a, a, I think there was a Jamindar family, you know, okay. something like, you know, they, and their, their home they was had attacked. buildings, you know, I, hmm. the, the ruins are still there. You know, okay. And, uh, so, um, so, and we had a temple. Mm -hmm. It's it's big temple, like twenty thirty acres. Okay, temple. it's still there. It's still there, but it was, uh, yeah, it's it, they renovated it. But, but did they damage it? Was it? Damaged? Oh yeah, the buildings I could see for years. We saw those uh, ruins. Ruins. Right. So they were they were destroyed. They were yeah. torched and destroyed. The, the especially oh. the temple was uh, damaged. So it was so sad. Um, <clears throat> so, <coughs> so. Um, as as they lived, as you mentioned, when you grew up, you mentioned that the relationship with the Muslims and Hindus were really fine. There was no no problem in college either. You, you never felt you were you were a minority or. I I mean, the 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 issue is like uh, for me, mm -hmm. we were treated differently. The Muslims, okay. you know, would you would go places, mm -hmm. you know. The way a Muslim will approach an ordinary person mm -hmm. is not the same way he would approach me because they, they always knew that I am a uh, related to that uh, family. Related but to what about when you went to Dhaka? When, when yeah, then then we knew where uh, our limits. Yeah, we would not uh, we would introduce ourselves as Muslim. You know, like uh, really, is it was like bad? what's your name? You know, we would give uh, some it's a liton. You know, like some mm -hmm. the name that yeah. you cannot say if I am Muslim or. So the, uh, the, yeah. the, the, in Dhaka you, you used to hide your identity as such. Very common, is it common? Yeah, when when I'm also? I'm in a you know like uh, like uh, in a social when, gathering. Yeah, or when nobody knows me. Yeah. Then yeah, definitely. So, I mean, you, you get a pass. Oh, really? But what happened? What happened to your friends who identify themselves as Hindu? Uh, I mean, what kinds no, of? It's not only friends. It's us, when we we identified uh, ourselves as Hindus, we just, uh, I mean, were there any consequence to that? What was the consequence? That's then? not, not the con it, it. It's like less caring, you know. Say mm -hmm. something. Uh, if I am, a, if I present myself as a Muslim, they just uh, not 
uh, be very uh, threatening to us. Threatening or aggressive. But if I am, a, yeah, aggressive, you know, they say, okay, brother. But he, if he, I am a Hindu, yeah. then maybe they don't, you know, torture me or something. But, you know, I automatically, you know, you it feel, was, I felt or I, I was made feel, you know, that, that you're I am minor, different. you know, you're different. Uh, inferior, yeah. yeah. Okay. That that's, I cannot uh, talk to him like that or whatever. Oh, I see. That's, that's tough. Um, um, when you came to Dhaka, where did you live? You lived in the dormitory of Notre Dame mm, College? No, or I, you initially I lived with my sister, you know, my sister, uh, uh, my elder sister, they... they was, she was married? She's married, yeah. So in, and they were living in Dhaka? Yeah. Oh, I see. So. That's how most people do, except yep. for some who find dormitory or something. Notre Dame College, uh, uh, Notre Dame College had dormitory. Dormi I mean. yeah, yeah, but I've that's, been there. Yeah. I've been there actually. They, they have the dormitory. Yeah. Um, w do you know? Um, yours is. Is, your, feeling what you said. Is it very common amongst other Hindus, or in your case, you are you are very different in the sense that you only felt that kind of that kind of aggressive behavior, <clears throat> and not other Hindus? Do you think you? I think I <clears throat> I am different uh, than other Hindus in a way because I didn't I didn't feel as threatened as many other Hindus felt. Yeah. You know, because, uh, because I I. Like like I, when this thing mm -hmm. started mm -hmm. to our family after mm -hmm. 1990, mm -hmm. a lot of people felt even before oh, that. Before oh, I see. You know we were we were totally untouched. Mm -hmm. You know we, we we go to so, Tongi, yeah. and somebody and I I identify myself. They will you know do anything to okay. Okay. to give me a, a safe. passage to home or something. So, yeah. So but I the other people the bus. could not use that. Yeah. And then. It, it, that impacted, you know, it, that carried a lot of... Uh, <coughs> no, no, good. Now, let me ask you, how did your parents choose to go to Raiganj? Did they know anybody in Raiganj or how did they end up in Raiganj first? Do you know? The, because our, our village was a, a homogeneous village, but there are the neighboring villages. Mm. A lot of it's already you know the its population was bleeding already mm -hmm. since the uh, the liberation, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and our b village was intact because everybody you know my my yeah. uh, uncle was uh, you know chairman nobody, yeah. I mean he was like a uh, umbrella for umbrella, everyone, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. and everybody you know whoever come to our village have to talk to him before mm -hmm. they do so. You know, just telling that I'm from that village, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you get a pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how our village stayed intact, but yeah. not the other villages. But but then why I'm saying why Raj Raigon? In a sense, because say, those people went to Raigon. Okay, oh, so that's the connection. So it's yeah, like yeah. A, in Raigons. Yeah. Like I I went three four times. I know everybody. Oh really? It's a small town. Would you believe I went over Raigon but never stopped in Raigon? No, why no, Raigons. Plus the uh, area, area. Uh, area, you know, like uh, if I go to Jaidapur, there are 19 uh, uh, unions, uh, unions. Yeah. and if I go to every union, I tell that I am the uh, the uh, nephew yeah, of yeah. Mr. Th everybody will know. Yeah, yeah. Same thing is in Raigons. You know, Raigons is a town, but it has a, uh, a lot of villages, and, and every place I went, and somebody say, oh, he's the nephew of, the, you such know, and such. No, no, yeah, and then they know me too because yeah. they came they, from, from Bangladesh that. too. Oh, I see. So, so yes, 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 yes. So why everybody, saying, everybody because, is different. Right, right. Because a huge number of them generally are attracted to Kolkata because it, it has taken in so many millions of refugees <coughs> from forty-six. Yeah. So I mean, so because Raigonj is really far off in North Bengal, so so trek is you have to go across. You know, for for from there to Tanga and to Pabna to Ranagar, or oh, from the, or or from Dinajpur, there is you can cross from Dinajpur uh, because most people cross illegally. Hilly, uh, hilly, hilly, right? Hilly, 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 h
visa passport, you go through that. Otherwise, you just cross the border, right? Um, so, um, um, do you know if anybody benefited because of partition of Bengal? Because I'm focused on Bengal. That is, that Bengal was partitioned in Bangladesh, or East Bengal, East Pakistan was created, West Bengal, India, India was created. Did anybody benefit? Anybody, any group, whatever. Was there any I can tell Hindus didn't benefit. What about Muslims? I I don't know about the Indian Muslim, but I I think Bangladeshi Muslims are yeah definitely. I mean they they, they were benefited because of the property and assets and jobs. Assets and uh, the 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 power, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and the the impositions they are making mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. on the minorities. So yes. they say clearly there are two uh, different uh, you know uh, group. One yes, is powerful, yeah. one is powerless. Sure, 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 sure. Now, um, why do you think Muslims in West Bengal, minority Muslims in Hindu majority West Bengal were able to stay, but minority Hindus in Muslim majority East Bengal were not able to stay? Why people like your family had to migrate to India, but very few Muslims migrated from West Bengal to Bangladesh? Why? Why would you think? That's that has to do with the uh, I think government policies, mm -hmm. the security that they give you. You know, uh, I don't think uh, in we could trust the government, the politicians mm -hmm. in Bangladesh. You know, they would uh, they would they would give you shelter and they will exp they will may, you know make sure that you understand that you are hindu and you are uh, uh, under the protective custody of the politicians mm -hmm. you know this is uh, mm -hmm. they render you basically a, uh, as as a powerful powerless person you know they mm -hmm. know that you are not important mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we without our protection you know you, you you cannot survive but still still they are not protecting if they are protecting the people will not go right they are saying that but in reality there is no protection no. yeah they, but they are saying oh they, a little bit happens everywhere you know those are the thing it's like normal thing yeah yeah, yeah. okay um, yeah, if it's normal, it's yeah. normal on the other side too. No, it's gonna say yeah. you have you have to take you live with uh, this kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. You know? Okay. Uh, do you know if your parents were ever discriminated in India? Uh, actually, my parents uh, discriminated by who? Well, the majority West Bengalis. That is, did they he, ever actually he they haven't find uh, found a niche. Okay. in India never okay. you know I I told him because he was a businessman and I told him to start a business he's afraid okay he doesn't want to do this okay it doesn't have the you know, he, well, how old is he he might, might be too old is he in his 60s yeah he was in his 60s now but uh, yeah but we have people supporting yeah. people he could, all he had to do is just take the initiative it's yeah. he's just scared he yeah had, no broken people are broken when seeing these kinds of change in life, and uh, which he, he, he's know, scared, he doesn't. It's a trauma. People often do not recover from trauma. You understand? That's the um, so it's it's not easy. Now your <coughs> your wife is also originally from Bangladesh. Yeah. Uh, where was she? He born. She was born in Kishorganj. Kishor, not far from you. Okay. Um, how can under what under what kind of situation then Hindus and Muslim can live together? I don't I don't see a situation where they can live together. Okay. As long as long as they you know, they don't renounce the the doctrines because they the Muslims are always pushing for conversion. Always, uh, you know, they. This is their. Uh, no matter who it is. Okay. Even the liberals and, and yeah. conservatives. Yeah. It's always the. You know. Yeah. Why? Why you don't? You know, like uh, there are beliefs, mm -hmm. and they always question Hindu beliefs. They ridicule it. Mm -hmm. You know. So. But th they were Hindu before. I mean. 
all of them. Well, but, but they, they don't, don't think they, they don't they don't think yeah. about that yeah. after all. Hey, somebody. So yeah. well, how can you do? You know, like uh, always questioning. Mm-hmm. And then I don't see any Hindus questioning why you do that and do mm-hmm. that. But Muslims will always uh, probe why Hindus do such and mm-hmm. such things. Mm-hmm. And a lot of Hindus, you know, they are not uh, very uh, uh, authentic. They cannot uh, no. explain their. Yeah, that means their, they, they. Yeah, they, I mean, they, yeah, I mean. And then that, they, 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 that brings more ridicule. Yeah, but that many Muslims probably you cannot explain either. Yeah. But but they can. They are doing it. Yeah. You know, most most people non-intellectuals will not be able to explain yeah. all of these things. Yeah. That's true for all. But, uh, okay. Um, I'm almost close to the end. Uh, how many times have you gone back since your your parents left uh, your home in Bangladesh? Uh, uh, well, I went I went to Bangladesh once, but I stayed only two or three days. Okay. So, I mean, a lot of pain. Where to go? And yeah. you know, like, yes, 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 yes. Um, I'm almost to the end. So is there anything else that I didn't ask? You want to add? Is there anything I missed or I didn't ask? Well, I, I, I mean that one thing is like I studied in Dhaka University, mm-hmm. and I was uh, I I stayed in Jagannath Hall. You know, uh, the yes. Hindu students were the yeah. Hindu students stayed, but. I was involved with the Satradol, you know, BNP Satradol. The, the, the pro, here in America we call that pro Islamist party. Yeah, pro Islamist Satr- party. party and I don't know why, but the there was a lot of benefit we get it from it. You know, was it was it during the rule of BNP? No, no. It's before. No, that. BN Satradol was always uh, strong. You know, BNP or Aumilik doesn't matter. You know, Satradol in but, Dhaka. Chhatradal was is a BNP's student wing. Yeah. Okay. And and they are always powerful in Dhaka University okay. or or student politics. Yeah. And uh, like the benefit of of that is like if you are a belo- if you belong to Chhatradal you you get to choose where you wanna stay how you wanna stay. We we live in one room in mm-hmm. the university. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whereas uh, the Hindus, they live mm-hmm. like. Ten students in one room. They crammed, you know, mm. in one room. And you got your single room because you're Chhatradol. Yeah, because I'm Chhatradol. Also in also in Jagannath. Hall. In Jagannath. Hall, uh, that's know. Hindu. Yeah. So okay. I go to the cafeteria. Yeah. We it we get treated differently. Which which year we are talking about approximately? Uh, that's 1989, 1990. So that was Isha. This coming down. And yeah. End of back end of Isha. Yeah, there was a big uh, yeah movement against Isha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, anything else you'd like to add? So those things, I, I think that when Hindus see, like they consider Satradol as a, you know, you know equivalent to Muslim, that he yeah. cannot, Islam is don't fight, you yeah. know, you just, just uh, don't pick a fight with mm-hmm. them, don't, you know, just give them yeah. whatever yeah. they want. You know, it's, it, 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 the sentiment has changed, you know, people are, uh, are made, Hindus mm-hmm. were made so weak, mm-hmm. you know, b- by the persecution of uh, of years, yeah. years of persecution, you know. Has it changed a little bit now, do you think? Mm-hmm. Hindus now are resisting a little better than before? I don't think that that is effective resistance. You know, maybe they are desperate, but I don't think the force is there. Yeah. Okay. I would say that it's they are getting weakened. Okay. Because maybe they say I'm resisting, but at what, what is the starting point? Mm-hmm. You know, like if I see that I would not negotiate a Muslim in 1990, I would not have. But then I started, you know, uh, you know, getting used to the negotiation, and my starting point is already I have given up ground to Muslim, and then I say, okay, I'm resisting now. Okay. But you are already off no. of your base. Sure, sure, sure. But yeah, so. All right. Mm, okay. Very nice. If there is, a, if you, do you have anything to add? Otherwise, we will stop. Thank you very much. I appreciate you.